Alright, welcome back everyone to another Tech Zone video. This is my first vacation video in Sri Lanka and in this video I'm going to show you how to add the security camera footage onto your videos. Uh, I'm sure you know what I mean. You know the quality and the effects you would get in security camera. I'm going to show you how to add that effect in your video. So we're going to be turning this video off my garden in Sri Lanka into this. Now I'm sure you notice the difference. It looks pretty much like footage from a security camera. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, add your video. I'm going to add that video again, my garden. So you can see over here. I'm using my netbook, so don't exp ex expect great quality from the preview window. Okay. And uh, after that, first of all, you notice the black and white effect. So we're going to we're going to be mostly messing with the video effects section actually most of the time go to black and white go to 100% black and white and add it into the timeline or in the video okay so you can see our now our video is now uh, black and white and then we need to add that time code which you saw at the b bottom right to add that to scroll down and go to time code now add anything we want uh, you want sorry uh, we need to change it if you get when you get the options, the time code format should be changed to time, okay? And the time code format should uh, be calculated in time. So if we play the video, okay, it's kind of too slow because of uh, Camtasia recorder. Let me just put it a quarter and let's see. You may not really notice it, but you can see the time code running already. Okay, so. Uh, it looks good up to now, but the qual we want to add like a scan effect, you know, on a TV. Like the quality is not that great. So what we do is, okay, never mind. Uh, TV simulator, and we're gonna add the TV look effect. Okay. So now it should look like as if it's some security footage, and if we play it, Not sure you can notice, but there's like this bright light going up and down, up and down. That clearly gives some sort of TV look. So let's change the settings, detail, zoom. You can notice from the preview windows what is happening. You can see those multicolored bars. Just leave it like that. Aperture grill. Mm, no. To these things. I can't really remember. Okay, line sync and vertical sync. Now, vertical sync, if I reduce vertical sync, see what happens to the video. The video keeps on uh, exiting and then re enters from the bottom, so that's what I mean. So I'm going to leave vertical sync to 1, but we're going to reduce line sync to around 0 0.98. Now, if I move it to 0 0.2, you can see the video is getting, you know, uh, messed up. And if we play the video, you can see it gets even more messed up. So if the line sync is reduced, the video is messed up even more. So that's why I want to put it to 0 0.98. And it will just shake a bit. That's it. Okay? Scan phasing. Okay, you see this blue color tint, right? I, I don't want the blue color uh, on my black and white video. So go to phosphorence and we're going to reduce it to zero. Or if you want, let's add a bit. Okay, that's it. And static is, well, like, um, it's like adding noise, let's say. Okay, so okay, good example of static is like on a TV. You see those um, gray dots going, shh, you know, on your TV like that. So let's add a bit of that to make it a little bit more real. And I guess we're done with our security cam footage. Now, I if only I could show you a better quality, but this damn netbook can't really process the video that well. 
But I will process the video now and I'll show you the final result. So that's about it. So um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why subscribe for more. So thanks for watching and have a great day.